Today, we're in London to celebrate the best curry chefs working in Britain. We recognise their contribution to the industry. Right from the creation of their own unique dishes through to the experience of the customers in their restaurant. Welcome to the 2018 Curry Life Awards. I welcome you all to be a part of our wonderful journey tonight as we unveil the winners of the Curry Life Awards, the best chefs, best restaurant, best takeaway in the curry industry right across the United Kingdom. This is Curry Life Magazine's ninth annual awards ceremony. Now let me welcome Saeed Bilal Ahmed, editor of Curry Life Magazine, to the stage. If there is an election, I am going to work with all the curry houses and I'm going to make the curry houses battle ground for elections. Make sure you use your cross very wisely. Select people who listen to you. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Karen, can I ask you to present the first award this evening? the International Honour Award, Chef Kazi Hassan, Executive Chef of the Hilton Singapore. With over 15 years of global experience at top five-star hotels and Michelin-starred restaurants, the 38-year-old chef Kazi Hassan is now Executive Chef of Singapore Hilton. Hassan was born in Bangladesh and subsequently packed his bags for Melbourne to pursue his passion. In my career, I have gone through some fantastic experiences. Chef Kazi is a role model for hundreds of chefs. Thank you, Curry Life team. Fantastic opportunity for us. I can't still believe I got this award. I mean, I wanted to come and work in London back in my early days, but today I come here to get an award, so that's fascinating. The first chef to receive this year's Curry Life Chef of the Year Award, Chef Asko Ali Mahan Restaurant from Worthing, West Sussex. Very happy to win the award. It's been an excellent event. I hope next year see you again. Our next chef is from Cambridge. Please welcome Chef Abdul Hai and owner Ruhel Hawk from the Indian Ocean, Histon, Cambridge. I'm Chef Indian Ocean. I'm very happy and very excited. Please welcome Chef Sheikh Kamrul Islam and owner Sheikh Nur Al Islam from Cliff Spice, Rochester. It's uh, very lovely. And I give you many, many thanks to our customer and I'm very, very surprised tonight and very happy. Please welcome Chef Alam Hussein, owner of Sejata Reza, Taste of Paradise, Newport. I'm very proud of this award. Please welcome Chef Ansa Mia, the manager Gayash Udin from Market Spice. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. We are really delighted with this award and we thoroughly deserve it as well. Our next award goes to Chef Stephen Lee Hackerland Harrow. Oh, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant award. Please welcome Mr. Andrew Kenny the UK sales director of the most successful online food ordering platform, Just Eat. On behalf of us all at Just Eat, we are really honored to be the lead sponsor of the Curry Life Awards for the second year running, and to be here to celebrate and honor the curry industry's professionals and shine a light on culinary excellence. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all the nominees the very, very best of luck this evening. These awards truly recognize the real heroes of the curry sector. So congratulations to each and every one of you. I hope you all have a fantastic evening. Thank you very much. Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce an old friend of mine, an old friend of yours too. Please welcome Lord Curran Bilibora. Let's talk about the physical courage in this room. 
a room full of entrepreneurs who have started businesses against all odds. People like Saeed and Pasha. These awards are landmark in our industry every year. Hats off to Saeed and Pasha and Curry Life. Thank you. Without business, there are no jobs, there are no taxes, and there are no public services from which we all benefit. It is all thanks to business. Let us look forward to a great future. Thank you very much. The next award is the Best Customer Choice Award. This is a new category that has been introduced this year. The recipient is owner Shahidul Islam Miton from Mumtaz Lounge, Northampton. Really, really happy. Really ex excellent. Biggles Lounge, Biggles Wade. Please invite to the stage Mohammed Abul Haznat. It makes me feel proud and I'm taking this award on behalf of all the colleagues and the management. Another amazing chef for an amazing restaurant in West Wickham. Please welcome Abdul Hay from Inaga Restaurant, Coney Hall. Let's hear it for them. It's a privilege to win the award. It's an honor. It's, it's an honor for the whole team at Inaga. And I'm very, very privileged. Please welcome Mohammed Nasser Udin, Akash Tanduri, London. Three generations we serve the customers, all the customers here at Fidel, and we are here to my customers as well, which is my stop at Fidel. Please welcome manager Mahmoud Noor from Three Spices, Ruddington, Nottingham. Over the moon. Yep, very happy. I just think it's the best. Now this next award winner is from a lovely restaurant in Newcastle upon Tyne. Please welcome the owner, Mohamed Kukon, from Jashin Restaurant. Very proud and very happy, very privileged to fact that all my customers have come into our restaurant. Customer service, and that's the most important thing in our restaurant. Let me invite on stage young and upcoming British Indian singer, Adina Shah. Our next award is Best Takeaway Restaurant. It goes to Captain Korma in Essex. I want to thank all our customers, everyone who's voted for us and everyone who's supported us. I want to thank them very much for helping our business grow and hopefully it will be more bigger in the near future. Let's move on now to the Best Restaurant Category Awards. This is the really tough one. The first award recipient in this category goes to Vikas Puri, Matsaya Restaurant, London. Oh, it's really happy. I'm really happy. And uh, it's really nice to just be the Curry Award. Yeah. Please welcome Jamal Odin Ahmed Shosna, Indian and Bangladeshi cuisine, Kent. We're overwhelmed to uh, receive this award. It's like our icing on the cake, you know, with all this hard work. The best restaurant in West Yorkshire, Cinnamon Lounge, Wakefield, owner Mr. Shamsul Mia. We're really, really happy. We're going to thank the customers, family, all the staff, all the Curry Life guys. For the best restaurant in Buckinghamshire, please welcome hugely successful entrepreneur, Mr. Ali Rahman of the Don of Milton Keynes. 
we're just grateful to be awarded this uh, award obviously and uh, thank you very much to everyone. The best restaurant in Nottinghamshire is Ashiana Restaurant and Hotel. Amid the great rumpus of joy from that table over there, let me invite a stage. Sako Mia, who founded Ashiana Restaurant. Absolutely ecstatic. It's truly a pleasure to actually have been nominated, let alone to win. We're just unique. Atmosphere, good food, good service, friendly environment. Breaking news. From the Curry Life Media Group, another food magazine, as you've heard, is being launched this evening. The Oriental Food Life. In the world of the Oriental Cuisine, Golden Chopsticks Awards is already an established name. The two co-founders of this award are fashion consultant Gok Wan and his friend Lucy Mitchell. Now may I please request Lucy to join us on the stage alongside Saeed Ahmed, Saeed Pasha. Welcome. It's been a very long time coming to have something like this for the Oriental food world, so congratulations and thank you. Curry Life carried out uh, a survey to find out the country's best-selling curries. Number one, Kurma. Number two, Jal Frazee with 17% of the votes. Number three, which you probably would have expected to be number one, was Tikka Masala at 16%. So there we are. Thank you, Curry Life, and thank you again for all that you do for our industry. Now, the next recipient is from Ashbourne, the best restaurant in Derbyshire, and Naya's Premier Indian Dining, Mr. Afan Ali. It's been a privilege, so it's amazing that customers have been supporting us. Well, it's an achievement, it's a really, so, yeah, I'm really glad. The next one is the best restaurant in Cheshire North, the winner is Bombay 8, Westbrook, Warrington. I'm extremely proud of my father who's won the award. I think it's the teamwork of the staff that work together all night. It's great. The next award goes to Chef Shaz Rahman for the best restaurant in Staffordshire, Blue Tiffin, Stoke-on-Trent. Very privileged and I'd like to thank everybody. Very hard work and determination more than anything else, really. And the customers, yeah. Best in Essex. And the award goes to Riverside Spice in Colchester, Essex. Please put your hands together for Abdul Hamid. Very, very nice. Very nice. We we'll try to serve the best that's available to us. Yeah. That's why we're the best. The best restaurant in Somerset Alcum Tandoori Minehead Somerset, please. Put your hands together for Juba Ahmed and Kabir Mia. Very excited for receiving this award. All credit goes to our customer, they are nominated us. The winner of the best restaurant in Tyneside is Champagne Restaurant, owner Mr. Kamrul Hussein. I'm really proud to have come in here to win that trophy. Also, I'd like to say thank you to my team. I am a very proud person here. For the very best restaurant in Lancashire, please welcome Mr. Rahibul Rahman Chowdhury of the Whitecroft Indian Restaurant and Bar, Accrington. I feel very privileged and thanks to Curry Life and deeply very, very happy. Please welcome Magic Singh. Take any card you like, it's your choice. We are going to mark the card in a very unique way by tearing the corner off. So I'm going to do that now. Peter, with that small piece, if you could just place that into your trouser pocket. Perfect. The rest of the piece, you're just going to place it back anywhere you like. It doesn't really matter where it goes. These cards are going to go into this carrier bag over here. This is the part of the trick where it gets a little bit dangerous. 
I'm going to give you this just for safety. If you could face me, I'm just going to just carefully place this over your neck. Now. We've got it. That is your part, correct? It has got the slice on there. Does it match? Give Peter a round of applause, please. The next restaurant is from Hertfordshire. Please welcome owner Mohammed Atikur Rahman from Indian Sizzler, Watford. Fantastic, he's still trembling. So um, yeah, it's really, really good. And the young generation, me and my brother, we look after the day-to-day. It's my dad's business. Always coming up with new ideas. The best restaurant in Cheshire Central is Bombay Key in Northwich. Please invite on stage Jankir Alam. I'm very excited, really, really thrilled. Um, it's a surprise, really. So my restaurant makes me special with my team. We're back in Shropshire now, where the best restaurant is Himalaya Restaurant, Bridge North Shropshire. Please invite to the stage Dudu Mia. Oh, very grateful, very grateful, yeah. Well, we do good quality of food, we good service, you know, everybody appreciates. The best restaurant in East Sussex is Ocean Spice Hastings East Sussex. Please welcome on stage Ridwanu Rahman. So we are very honored to have this curry like what and we want to thank you our all the staff and all our customers who help us to win this award. Best restaurant in Cheshire West, Forts of India, Malpass, Cheshire. May I invite on the stage Akhtamir. Oh, it's been fantastic. It's the first time winning this award. Oh, it's all about customer and my staff that dedicate to the restaurant. The best Bengali vegetarian restaurant in the EU award goes to Chef Nahid Hassan from Shanti Culture Club in Stockholm. Yeah, we well, thank you to my you know, brother, you know, who are working with you know, all the team, you know, actually. Now on to the final award of the evening. This is a special award named after a true visionary, M.A. Rahim. I'm going to ask Rasanara Ali to announce who it is and say a few words. Mr. Bajlu Rashid has been a stalwart in the British Bangladeshi community throughout his life. He has been an a brilliant inspiration to many in our country. So Mr. Rashid, please come and take your award. Thank you. Receiving M.A. Rahim Memorial Award do not fill me with a great sense of pride. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for a wonderful gift. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you. I think it's a fantastic evening. We are incredibly proud to, to be sponsoring these awards at Trustee uh, for the second year running. I think they're really important because I think they're motivational. People want to win them. These people have done well. So it's really important to celebrate the achievements of the industry and particularly the chefs. And I'm really grateful to Curry Life. They are doing wonderful work by recognizing the chefs especially. So it's good to get together and to celebrate the very best, the chefs. It's not about winning, it's about recognition. And it inspires and encourages those in the catering industry for the hard work that they do, for the contribution that they make to the British society. We organize this to celebrate the success of the industry. If we have a united voice and if we can pressure the government, they will listen to our problem and they could try to solve this. <laughs> 